All right, so today we are testing out the Hornet 750. It's quite good looking. And I mean, on the black version, I, you know, the forks are actually red, so they didn't have that on a monster bike, but the yellow is very monster bike-ish. Uh, the demo days are happening over there. We are going for a test ride. Let's see what this uh, Honda has to offer. It's quite good. That's a stock exhaust, is it? Ah, uh, there's my blinker. So, uh, this is a brand new motorcycle for 2023. Like, Honda has had the, uh, the CB600F and bikes like it. Um, and this is kind of the continuation of of that those models it's a naked motorcycle which um, which is kind of aimed at not necessarily beginners but it's a very comfortable and everyday riding machine and this bike has gotten a lot of good press for for what it is I guess now before we get deeper into this I just want to state that this is not a, a, a review this is a first test ride so I have 20 minutes to test this bike I, I ride for 20 minutes I tell the camera you who are watching exactly what I think and what I'm feeling so take everything with a little bit of a grain of salt it's not like my uh, real road reviews videos we are at the the regular test track so let's uh, let's go on the highway apparently it's got some uh, got some guts to it oh wow Wow, that is a, a punchy engine, oh my goodness. So this 750 has got 92 horsepower, it's roughly 75 Newton meters of torque. And it's just, it gets up and goes quite fast as you just saw on the on-ramp there. Now obviously this is a naked motorcycle, so there's a lot of wind hitting my chest, uh, no doubt about it. And the seating position is actually very comfortable. I really, really like this tank around my feet. Like it doesn't feel like anything is out of place. Now, you do have some menu buttons over on this side, which we're gonna check out in a little bit. But first, let's just ride on the, uh, the highway, see how it is. <laughs> Now, I can definitely feel a lot more torque in this bike than what I have in, per se, my uh, my Aprilia RS660, which, also, which actually has 100 horsepower. My first impressions of this engine is that it's a really fun and torquey engine. Yeah, that is, uh, that is a fun bike. Fun engine, fun engine. Brakes seem adequate. Okay, so traction control is now on. Can I turn that off? <coughs> Apparently not. Is that a Grom? Oh my God. Yeah, that is good. Yes. <laughs> so I'm going to see if I can turn traction control off just to, uh, to get a feeling for the, uh, how it works. Let's see. Let's go in here. Maybe not on that road, but we'll go here and we'll, we'll look at a bike a little bit more. Yeah, so we'll stand over here so that we're not in the uh, in the way for the bus. Oh, 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 almost fell over. Okay, so let's have a, a quick look of this bike. Now it resembles the the 500 cc version of this, the the uh, the Honda CB 500 F, which is a good thing if you like that look, but. If you ask me, Honda did a very, it's a very safe choice in my eyes. Uh, this design, it's nothing, nothing to write home about. Uh, it's very clean, especially I do like this yellow color though. Uh, but I'm not sure if I like the, uh, the red forks that you get on the black and red version. Some people may like that. A cool added feature is that you have like 
yellow bolts here. I don't know if that is put on by Monster Bike or what it is, but you get them here as well. What I would do to this bike is definitely get a different bracket. Uh, I don't know if you need another exhaust to be honest, but uh, you could probably put a slip on there and it should be fine. Looks like there is some type of valve down there. But yeah, other than that, maybe new mirrors. The blinkers are fine, you can probably get some flush ones, but... I mean, if you look at this, uh, this tank right here, you just kind of sit very nicely in underneath that little bump you got in a tank here. And um, just very comfortable from the, uh, from the get-go. Now, there's no quick shifter on this. Uh, so you do have to shift manually. I'm not sure if you can get a quick shifter from Honda, like an OEM one. These are nice and small. You can just bolt them right out if you don't want them. So here's the thing, you do have a user mode. Can I... Oh, there we go. So you hold the mode button to, to get in the edit mode, and then you can edit the uh, the level. Let's see. Hmm. Ah, haha, you can turn it off. Excellent. Okay. So by holding the up instead of going down, you can actually turn it off, so that's nice. Uh, so we're gonna do that. Excellent. So it's quite a, quite a good looking motorcycle, I'd say. Let's see if the wheelie control... Well, it definitely... You can definitely wheel it in uh, first gear. And I mean, the seating position you're sitting on is... It's very comfortable and I do like this seat as well. Now it's very difficult, of course, to tell from like a, a 15, 20 minute ride how comfortable a seat is. I gotta say, the experience from the Honda Honda 750 is very good at the moment. I mean, the flickability of this thing as well, it feels like it's almost, not quite, but almost just as easy as this CB500F to just flick back and forth which is kind of what you want in a road bike. And there's something to be said about this engine as well, which I kind of took for granted, I guess, so that it is it is quite smooth of an experience. Like, it is a parallel twin, if I'm not mistaken, and it just purrs, purrs, and you can kind of hear that um, NC750 sound, I guess that, is that where this engine come from, with a different tune maybe? If you put an exhaust on this, you can get some mean freaking sounds from this motorcycle. And the, uh, the shifter itself, the shift lever, is very tactile, very mechanical feeling. Probably because it, it doesn't have a quick shifter, so it's pure one-to-one. -one. Very, very satisfying clicks on that as well. Let's hear it, let's hear the exhaust. Well, I mean, if you put an exhaust on that, that's gonna sound mean, so mean. So I guess this was my Honda Hornet 750 first test ride. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to riding this for a longer period, really getting to know it. Uh, it definitely seems like a very capable beginner bike like the CB600F kind of became, I guess. So yeah, with that, yeah, test that suspension. With that, thank you guys for watching this quick video, and then I'll do an update video when, uh, when I get to try it even more. Cheers! And uh, there's a lot of stuff happening here. Look at that MV Augusta. Goodness gracious. Goodness gracious, bonita.